Today on BRS TV, we have a quick how to on the CJ Wave Surfer and Voyager Powerheads, coupled with showing you a feature what really makes these pumps ideal for wave makers. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we have a quick how to to set up the CJ Wave Maker and Voyager pumps, starting with one feature which makes them ideal for this application. Most powerheads operate on AC power with a propeller to move water. They work really well, except for when you turn on an AC power pump, it can start spinning in either direction. Most pumps have a small stopper at the top, which the prop slams into so it can bounce back and start spinning in the correct direction. This works really well, however, every time the pump turns on and off, it'll slightly damage the prop. Not a big deal in normal use, but on a wave maker that turns the pump on and off every 30 seconds, that's a million times a year and pretty hard on the pump and why most prop based pumps are not recommended on a wave maker. The CJ Voyager powerheads operate much differently. Instead of using a propeller, they use an impeller which can spin in either direction and still operate properly, which means it isn't slamming against a stopper a million times a year. The larger Voyager HP series do use a propeller but utilize internal electronics to make sure the pump spins in the correct direction. Either way, both will make for a much longer lasting option on an on-off style AC wave maker. Personally, this is the only pump I'd use on a wave maker if I was concerned about the longevity of the pump. They do come disassembled and need to be attached to the bracket, which is done by sliding one side into the bracket and using the included thumb screw to hold the pump in place. The assembled pump is a bit larger than some of its competitors, but the bracket does allow for complete 360 rotation, a full range of adjustability, which is lacking with some of the competitor products. Most reefers will install the two pumps in one of two places, on opposing sides of the tank aimed at each other, or in the back corners of the tank angled in where the pump's flow paths would intersect. Either way, place the pump inside the tank and put the magnetic pad on the outside to hold it in place. The Voyager bracket will work on glass up to a half inch thick, and the Voyager HP will work on glass up to three fourths of an inch thick. Once they're mounted, you can plug both into the CJ Wave Surfer. There are two knobs. The left one controls the length of the on-off cycles and the other controls the ratio. A single cycle is the amount of time it takes for both pumps to cycle on and off. You can set them to turn on and off anywhere from 10 seconds to 5 minutes. So if I set it to 1 minute, one pump would turn on for 30 seconds turn off and the other pump would turn on for 30 seconds to complete a 60 second cycle. My personal preference is to keep them on for at least a minute or two per cycle and allow the pump to really get the water moving before it turns off and turns on the opposing pump. When you adjust the right knob, most people will put it in the middle where the on-off cycle for each pump is even. For example, if you had the on-off cycle set at a minute and the pump ratio adjustment set in the center, each pump would alternate being on and off for 30 seconds. There are applications where you might want the pump cycles to be different. In that case, you'd adjust the right hand knob. If I turn it halfway, it would split the one minute cycles up to be different. For example, pump one would be on for 45 seconds and pump two would be on for 15 seconds to complete a one minute cycle. So that's really all there is to setting this up. One other option is to use a simple digital timer rather than a controller. I know many people like to use timers to keep the pumps on for hours rather than minutes. This also allows you to schedule times where both pumps are on at the same time. If you have any questions about the CJ Powerheads or advice for other reefers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.